Modern Hebrew or Israeli Hebrew, Bright Hedish Ivrit Hadassah H. I. V. It Kai Ada Ah, Modern Hebrew, or New Hebrew, generally referred to by speakers simply as Hebrew, Bright Ivrit, is the standard form of the Hebrew language spoken today. Spoken in ancient times, Hebrew, a member of the Canaanite branch of the Semitic language family, was supplanted as the Jewish vernacular by the Western dialect of Aramaic beginning in the 3rd century BCE, though it continued to be used as a liturgical and literary language. It was revived as a spoken language in the 19th and 20th centuries and as the official language of Israel. Modern Hebrew is spoken by about 9 million people, counting native, fluent, and non-fluent speakers. Most speakers are citizens of Israel, about 5 million are Israelis who speak modern Hebrew as their native language, 1.5 million are immigrants to Israel, 1.5 million are Arab citizens of Israel, whose first language is usually Arabic, and half a million are expatriate Israelis or diaspora Jews living outside Israel. The organization that officially directs the development of the modern Hebrew language, under the law of the State of Israel, is the Academy of the Hebrew Language. Topic. Name The most common scholarly term for the language is modern Hebrew, bright Hedish Ivrit Hadassah H. Most people refer to it simply as Hebrew. Bright Ivrit. The term modern Hebrew has been described as somewhat problematic, as it implies unambiguous periodization from Biblical Hebrew. Chaim B. Rosen he supported the now widely used term Israeli Hebrew on the basis that it "...represented the non-chronological nature of Hebrew." In 1999, Israeli linguist Galad Zuckerman proposed the term "...Israeli," to represent the multiple origins of the language. Background <inaudible> 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 One can divide the history of the Hebrew language into four major periods Biblical Hebrew, until about the 3rd century BCE, the language of most of the Hebrew Bible Mishnaic Hebrew, the language of the Mishnah and Talmud Medieval Hebrew, from about the 6th to the 13th century CE Modern Hebrew, the language of the modern state of Israel. Jewish contemporary sources describe Hebrew flourishing as a spoken language in the kingdoms of Israel and Judah, during about 1200 to 586 BCE. Scholars debate the degree to which Hebrew remained a spoken vernacular following the Babylonian captivity, when Old Aramaic became the predominant international language in the region. Hebrew died out as a vernacular language somewhere between 200 and 400 CE, declining after the Bar Kokhba revolt of 132–136 CE, which devastated the population of Judea. After the exile Hebrew became restricted to liturgical use. Revival Hebrew had been spoken at various times and for a number of purposes throughout the diaspora, and during the Old Yeshiv it had developed into a spoken lingua franca among the Jews of Palestine. Eliezer ben Yehuda then led a revival of the Hebrew language as a mother tongue in the late 19th century and early 20th century. Modern Hebrew used Biblical Hebrew morphemes, Mishnaic spelling, and Sephardic pronunciation. Many idioms and calques were made from Yiddish. Its acceptance by the early Jewish immigrants to Ottoman Palestine was primarily due to support from the organizations of Edmund James de Rothschild in the 1880s and the official status it received in the 1922 constitution of the British Mandate for Palestine. Jews from Arab lands introduced many loanwords from Arabic e.g. na'ana, za'tar, mishmish, kusbara, hilba, lubia, hummus, gezer, rehan, etc. The words garav sing, garbayim place are now applied to Socks, a diminutive of the Arabic gewerab, socks. Ben Yehuda codified and planned modern Hebrew using 8,000 words from the Bible and 20,000 words from rabbinical commentaries. He also invented some words, such as hatzalim for eggplants aubergines and hashmal for electricity. As no Hebrew equivalent could be found for the names of certain produce endemic to the New World, they devised new Hebrew words for maize and tomato, calling them tiras heb. Tears and Agbania heb. Gibni respectively. The latter word is derived from the shape of the vegetable, which resembled a buttocks heb, agabim. Sometimes, Old Hebrew words took on different meanings altogether. For example, the Hebrew word kavis, kabis which now denotes a street, or a 
Road is actually an Aramaic adjective meaning trodden down, blazoned, rather than a common noun. It was originally used to describe a blazoned trail. One of the phenomena seen with the revival of the Hebrew language is that, occasionally, old meanings of words were changed for altogether different meanings, such as bardellas, birdles, which in Mishnaic Hebrew meant hyena, but in modern Hebrew now means cheetah, or shezif, sezif, which is now used for plum, but formerly meant jujube. The word kishuam, formerly cucumbers, is now applied to a variety of summer squash, cucurbita pipo var. Cylindrica, a plant native to the New World. For a simple comparison between the Sephardic and Yemenite versions of Mishnaic Hebrew, see Yemenite Hebrew. Topic. Classification Modern Hebrew is classified as an Afroasiatic language of the Semitic family and the Canaanite branch of the Northwest Semitic subgroup. While modern Hebrew is largely based on Mishnaic and Biblical Hebrew as well as Sephardi and Ashkenazi liturgical and literary tradition from the medieval and Haskalah eras and retains its Semitic character in its morphology and in much of its syntax, the consensus among scholars is that modern Hebrew represents a fundamentally new linguistic system, not directly continuing any previous linguistic state, being a Koine language based on historical layers of Hebrew, as well as incorporating foreign elements, mainly those introduced during the most critical revival period between 1880 and 1920, as well as new elements created by speakers through natural linguistic evolution. A minority of scholars argue that the revived language had been so influenced by various substrate languages that it is genealogically a hybrid with Indo-European. These theories have not been met with general acceptance, and the consensus among a majority of scholars is that modern Hebrew, despite non-Semitic influences, can correctly be classified as a Semitic language. Topic. Alphabet Modern Hebrew is written from right to left using the Hebrew alphabet, which is an abjad, or consonant-only script of 22 letters based on the square letter form, known as Ashurit Assyrian, which was developed from the Aramaic script. A cursive script is used in handwriting. When necessary, vowels are indicated by diacritic marks above or below the letters known as nikud, or by use of matres lectionis, which are consonantal letters used as vowels. Further diacritics like dagesh and sin and shin dots are used to indicate variations in the pronunciation of the consonants e.g. bet, vet, shin, sin. The letters z, g, z, each modified with a juresh, represent the consonants t, d, t, may also be written as T's and T's. W is represented interchangeably by a simple VAV, W, non-standard double VAV, wow, and sometimes by non-standard Juresh modified VAV, W. Topic. Phonology Modern Hebrew has fewer phonemes than Biblical Hebrew but it has developed its own phonological complexity. Israeli Hebrew has 25 to 27 consonants and 5 to 10 vowels, depending on the speaker and the analysis. The following table lists the consonant phonemes of Israeli Hebrew in IPA transcription. One in modern Hebrew, H, for H has been absorbed by, X tilde chi, that was traditionally only for fricative K, though some older Mizrahi speakers still separate these. Two the glottal consonants are mostly elided in unstressed syllables, and sometimes also in stressed syllables as well, but are pronounced in careful or formal speech. In modern Hebrew, for has merged with though some speakers, particularly older Mizrahi speakers, still separate these. Three commonly transcribed are. This is usually pronounced as a uvular fricative or approximant, or velar fricative, and sometimes as a uvular or alveolar trill R or alveolar flap depending on the background of the speaker. For the phonemes, w, d, were introduced through borrowings, obstruents often assimilate in voicing, voiceless obstruents, p, t, t, s, k, f, s, x, become voiced, b, d, d, z, d, v, z, when they appear immediately before voiced obstruents, and vice versa. Hebrew has five basic vowel phonemes, Long vowels occur unpredictably where two identical vowels were historically separated by a pharyngeal or glottal consonant, and the first was stressed. Any of the five short vowels may be realized as a schwa, when far from lexical stress. 
There are two diphthongs, aj, and ej. Most lexical words have lexical stress on one of the last two syllables, of which the last syllable is the more frequent in formal speech. Loanwords may have stress on the antepenultimate syllable or even further back. Topic. Pronunciation While the pronunciation of modern Hebrew is based on Sephardi Hebrew, the pronunciation has been affected by the immigrant communities that have settled in Israel in the past century and there has been a general coalescing of speech patterns. The pharyngeal H for the phoneme Chet Hebrew, H of Sephardi Hebrew has merged into Chi which Sephardi Hebrew only used for fricative chaff Hebrew. The pronunciation of the phoneme Ayan Hebrew has merged with the pronunciation of Aleph Hebrew, which is either or unrealized and has come to dominate modern Hebrew. In many variations of liturgical Sephardi Hebrew, it is a voiced pharyngeal fricative. The letter VAV Hebrew, W is realized as V, which is standard for both Ashkenazi and most variations of Sephardi Hebrew. The Jews of Iraq, Aleppo, Yemen and some parts of North Africa pronounced VAV as W. Yemenite Jews, during their liturgical readings in the synagogues, will still make use of the older pronunciation of this Hebrew letter. The pronunciation of the letter Resh Hebrew, R has also largely shifted from Sephardi R to either or Topic. Morphology Modern Hebrew morphology formation, structure, and interrelationship of words in a language is essentially biblical. Modern Hebrew showcases much of the inflectional morphology of the classical upon which it was based. In the formation of new words, all verbs and the majority of nouns and adjectives are formed by the classically Semitic devices of triconsonantal roots with affixed patterns Mishnake attributive patterns are often used to create nouns, and classical patterns are often used to create adjectives. Blended words are created by merging two bound stems or parts of words. <laughs> Syntax The syntax of modern Hebrew is mainly mishnake, while also showing the influence of different contact languages to which its speakers have been exposed during the Revival period and over the past century. <inaudible> <inaudible> word order The word order of modern Hebrew is predominantly svo subject -verb -object. Biblical Hebrew was originally verb subject object VSO, but drifted into svo. Modern Hebrew maintains classical syntactic properties associated with VSO languages. It is prepositional rather than postpositional in making case and adverbial relations. Auxiliary verbs precede main verbs, main verbs precede their complements, and noun modifiers adjectives, determiners other than the definite article H, and noun adjuncts follow the head noun, hence in genitive constructions the possessi noun precedes the possessor. Moreover, modern Hebrew allows and in cases requires sentences with a predicate initial. Lexicon Modern Hebrew has expanded its vocabulary effectively to meet the needs of casual vernacular, of science and technology, of journalism and belles lettres. According to Galad Zuckerman, the number of attested Biblical Hebrew words is 8,198, of which some 2,000 are hopix legomena the number of Biblical Hebrew roots, on which many of these words are based, is 2099. The number of attested Rabbinic Hebrew words is less than 20,000, of which 7,879 are Rabbinic par excellence, i.e. they did not appear in the Old Testament the number of new Rabbinic Hebrew roots is 805, e around 6,000 are a subset of Biblical Hebrew, and e several thousand are Aramaic words which can have a Hebrew form. Medieval Hebrew added 6,421 words to modern Hebrew. The approximate number of new lexical items in Israeli is 17,000 cf. 14,762 in even Shoshan 1970. With the inclusion of foreign and technical terms, the total number of Israeli words, including words of biblical, rabbinic and medieval descent, is more than 60,000. Loanwords 
Modern Hebrew has loanwords from Arabic both from the local Levantine dialect and from the dialects of Jewish immigrants from Arab countries, Aramaic, Yiddish, Judeo-Spanish, German, Polish, Russian, English and other languages. Simultaneously, Israeli Hebrew makes use of words that were originally loanwords from the languages of surrounding nations from ancient times, Canaanite languages as well as Akkadian. Mishnaic Hebrew borrowed many nouns from Aramaic, as well as some from Greek. In the Middle Ages, liturgical Hebrew borrowed heavily from Spanish, Greek, and Arabic. Some typical examples of Hebrew loanwords are Bibliography Shweka, Yaakov Rav Milam, A Comprehensive Dictionary of Modern Hebrew. Tel Aviv, Set. ISBN 965-448-323-8. Ben Hayam, Ziev 1992. The Struggle for a Language. Jerusalem, The Academy of the Hebrew Language. Dekel, Nurit 2014. Colloquial Israeli Hebrew, a Corpus-Based Survey. De Gruyter. ISBN 978-3-11-037725-5. Hila Friedman Cohen, Carmia Shovel 2011. Easing into Modern Hebrew Grammar, a User-Friendly Reference and Exercise Book. Magnus Press. ISBN 978-965-493-601-9. Shlomo Israel, El, Shlomo Raz 1996. Studies in Modern Semitic Languages. Brill. ISBN 90-04-10646-4. Matras, Yaron, Schiff, Leora 2005. Spoken Israeli Hebrew Revisited, Structures and Variation. PDF. Studia Semitica. Journal of Semitic Studies Jubilee Vol. 16-145-193. Ornan, Uzi 2003. The Final Word, Mechanism for Hebrew Word Generation. Haifa University. Bergstrasser, Gotthelf 1983. Peter T. Daniels, ed. Introduction to the Semitic Languages, Text Specimens and Grammatical Sketches. Eisenbrowns. ISBN 978-0-931464-10-2. Chaim B. Rosen A Textbook of Israeli Hebrew. University of Chicago Press. ISBN 978-0-226-72603-8. Stefan Wenninger The Semitic Languages, An International Handbook. Walter de Gruyter. ISBN 978-3-11-025158-6. Wexler, Paul The Schizoid Nature of Modern Hebrew, A Slavic Language in Search of a Semitic Past. Otto Harisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-03063-2. Zuckerman, Galad Language Contact and Lexical Enrichment in Israeli Hebrew. UK, Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 978-1403917232. References. External links. Modern Hebrew Swadesh list. The Corpus of Spoken Israeli Hebrew. Introduction by Tel Aviv University. Hebrew Today, Should You Learn Modern Hebrew or Biblical Hebrew? History of the Ancient and Modern Hebrew Language by David Steinberg Short History of the Hebrew Language by Chaim Menachem Rabin Academy of the Hebrew Language, How a Word is Born